Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys, any of y'all that follow me on Twitter know that I made um, steak enchiladas, steak and cheese enchiladas, and it's been, it was going around in my head. So this is an easy way. I already pre-made some. They're in the oven. I'm going to get them out. I started some, so I'm going to roll one with y'all, and then I'm going to show you the finished product. But I'm going to show you everything that um, is that goes in it, okay? So, one bag of Angus beef fajita mix, and it's a 1.5 bag. Um, three pepper and onion blend. This is 12 ounces. You take those two, put them in a pan with some butter, warm them through. The, the steak is already um, pre-done. I have shredded Kobe Jack cheese. I have white cheese. This has a kick to it. Um, it has jalapenos in it. And I have enchilada sauce. Um, this is from the other day. I just put it in a thing, put it in the refrigerator. And so with the cheese, with this white cheese here, I take and put three. I'm going to show you. It's really thick. Okay? It's thick. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. So you want three spoons of this. In a, in a pan, in a splash of milk, and let it melt down, okay? And you, you know, put it in, let it melt down, you know, with your, and then you, you, you have this. It's going to be melted down, okay? So here's your steak mix, after I just spilled it. Your steak and your green peppers and onions and all that. In here, okay? Alright. I just spilled some on the counter. Okay. Hands are clean. Breed a wrap. And take. I don't know if I can. Maybe I can get you guys down some. And then maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. There. Right there. Okay. So you take some of the steak. And I'm going to have some left over because I miscalculated that. I didn't have enough burrito wraps, but so it's going to work. It's going to work out. Okay. Put you some in. Um, you know, about yay. Take some of your cheese. This cheese, uh, melted white cheese. Put a little bit, drizzle a little bit in the middle of it. Take some of your um, Kobe Jack cheese, put that down middle, and then roll it. Roll it, and cut the unopened side, keep it down. Okay, you're going to have some leftover on the end. I cut that off like that, and I put it in the pan. Okay, now... I, like I said, I already. Oh, shit. It's hard to. Y'all can see that there, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of this white cheese. I'm going to go down each one. Each one, like so, I'm gonna just put the rest, not that much left. Put it on there. Take the enchilada sauce, and I just take and pour some of that over the top. Like so. And then I take the Colby Jack cheese. And I put that over the top. And I think I need more. So I'm going to grab some more real quick. And 
you guys don't have to put this much cheese. I just like it cheesy. Okay? So, there you go. It's what it looks like. Okay? I take and I put a piece of foil over the top. Like so. Put a piece of foil over the top. And then I put it in the oven. But I got one done. I'm going to show you off. Be quiet, Maxwell, please. Ouch. If I don't burn myself first. Okay. So, take the lid off of it, the foil off of it, and that's what you have. And these are really, really good. I tried to taste one for you, but it's too hot. I'm telling you, these are good. Um, real easy to throw together. Really, super, super easy. So, there it is, you guys, ones that we're asking. So, from me to you, from Ohio, go Bucks. I love each and every one of you. Look, I'm not even... Yeah. So, love y'all, and I'll talk to you later. Try these, and when you do, let me know. Love y'all.